What it do, world? <clears throat> it's your boy, Trey 80. Signing in once again for another episode. And this is the Klein Corner. Everybody had a good new year. And, uh, you know, I hope you brought it in with people that you love and care about it. People that love and care about you. You know? It snowed out here, so it's my routine, y'all. Yeah. Y'all used to it by now. Oh. Topic I wanted to touch on today, or tonight, excuse me, is uh, can you love two people at once? Now when you think about that, right? You think to yourself, of course you can. You know, there's a way of loving many people at the same time. But I'm talking about in a sense of relationship. I'm talking about in a sense of companionship. You know, I'm talking about you loving your partner and you loving someone else. Maybe that you have committed adultery. You know what I'm saying? Is it possible? Can you do it? And my thought process on this is I think it's possible to love two people, but there is no possible way to be in love with two people or two or more. Now, once again, this is strictly my opinions. You know, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. Let us know what your thoughts are. But if you think I'm wrong, share. Love to get your insight and thoughts on how you think this is very much pro possible. Probable. Because for me, no, I don't think it's possible. I think typically what happens is you're in love with the person that you're with. There might be a possibility that you fall out of love, stay within the relationship. But then on another note, I feel like with that being said, you may fall in love with somebody else within that process. That, I think, is possible. Okay? But by no means that I say you're in love with both people. You once being in love with someone, falling out of love, but still have love for them, would be your reasons or... Yeah, you know, your reasons to stay. That is the compelling reason why you'll stay. But other than that, you no longer being in love is what caused you to fall in love with someone else. You know, wanting that feeling back. That's what I think. Because, I mean, real talk, man. I just had a... I just got some bad news from my sister and essentially she told me that someone within our family fell in love with someone else while being married. Now, let's go deeper. How was that possible? How was that even fucking possible? Were you entertaining the situation? Did you give that individual any, any type of hope? That individual outside of your marriage? Did you give that any individual any type of hope? Or thought that essentially he could date you, talk to you, chop it up with you, do any of the but any of the any of those things without your significant other knowing about it? Come on, man, talk to me people. Because if you got the answers, I need to know. Gotta know. Because in my 31 years of life, there's no fucking way. No fucking way I believe that 
you can be in love with two people at a time at a motherfucking time i don't believe it i don't care i won't accept it until you can give me some type of logic that'll help me understand you know what i'm saying because at the end of the day in that scenario where one of my relatives fell in love with someone else there was more to that there had to be flirting there had to be dating love notes conversations phone calls maybe even meets you know to fall in love you have to be around that person you have to literally give them an opportunity to show you that emotion to give that emotion you feel me so you know I think it's bigger than what people think and I literally feel like you know it's bullshit you know what I'm saying I'm sad it happened to the member of our family I'm surprised that it happened you know with that member of our family but it did I think it's fucked up And for me as a man, as a man that truly believes in love, don't get me wrong, I'm not an individual that brags or boasts, and, you know, I don't want anybody to think that I feel like I am the epitome of a good man, no, I made mistakes, I was, like I told you in previous videos, I've been promiscuous, you know, I was doing my thing in my youth and you know not for all not all my life have I been a practicer of uh, a practitioner of love you know but um, on some real shit it's just like I got to a certain age where I felt like now's my time it's time for me to settle down it's time for me to evolve and grow and be a far better man that I used to be so now I'm in a relationship a strictly monogamous relationship mind you and I don't plan on letting it go I don't plan on letting any type of outside influences ruin it I'm not letting our bad days influence poor behavior you know if she's not feeling it she's not feeling it as her man I'm gonna try to correct it make it better and no one's perfect we all will make mistakes but the mistakes we make should not be ones that we know better which I mean infidelity when you motherfuckers say y'all cheated and it was a mistake and you didn't mean to you apologize and worst thing you ever did you knew what you was doing and when these women take you back you know what's up same with these men when these women cheat on you they know exactly what they did when they did it don't be fucking fooled don't be an idiot but that's my point when I say being in love being in love is what compels you to stay more so when you're cheated on when you are the cheater you are no longer in love but you still love that person you still love the father that they are the person that they've been the friend that they are to you but they just no longer do it for you. That's what happens. So, man, these are my thoughts, man. If you guys have anything to share, please do. You know? I mean, I'll be talking to these videos. I know I'm talking to someone. It's indirect, but, you know, it's different when you're not getting a response, a reply. So, tell me what you think. Let me know what your thoughts are. It's your boy Trey 80. This is the Klein Corner. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification. And, uh, you know, just stay in the loop with us, man. Just stay putting out videos. And, you know, doing things. Giving our opinions and thoughts on various different topics. Especially for me. Relationship and life. You know, this is 
one of my life's perspectives. And, uh, yeah, let me know what you think. You know what I'm saying? Y'all have a good night. One love. Be safe out here. Until the next one. Peace.